Here is a quick before. So I tinted the lens. So at the moment, that is as far as I can go. And it looks brilliant. So I've just removed the uh, old tyres and tubes. And here are the wheels. Ready for a clean and get them blasted, get all the old paint and the rust removed and then I can get them in primer and decide what colour that I'm going to paint them OK then guys, so here is a quick before I've just given them a uh, jet wash, put a bit of degreaser on them I'll get these blasted and hopefully the results will be a lot different to how they currently are so here we have the drive gear guys, you can see it's uh, full of dirt. So I took this and gave it a good clean and you can just see the dirt also on that gear there. It was really stiff to move. So with a good clean and uh, a re-grease, it's moving nice and freely. So here's some progress. I've cleaned up and fitted all of the wiring loom so that's a lot cleaner than it was battery box and the oil tank and the rectifier all cleaned up so much nicer than what it was previously so now I'm going to fit the fuel tank the original one got myself a nice new shiny one so as you would have just seen just fitted the uh, the stand with a new spring that's come out nice what's also on order from the Japanese auctions is a side stand so when you use the scooter on its center stand, it sits quite high. Now, when lowering this, obviously you want the stance of it sitting low. So we need a side stand and they mount just onto here. I may have to do a bit of trimming in the uh, lower cowl when we fit that for it to come out. But uh, yeah, we'll get to that stage as and when we fit the stand. But I wanted the center stand and that looks a lot nicer than what it was. Okay guys, so it is slowly starting to come together and it looks brilliant. This is definitely the best bit after all the, uh, the, the cleaning, the prep, the paint, the dirty hands. It's just so good to see this little scooter come together. So uh, yeah, let's crack on and see if we can fit a bit more.
so I tinted the lens. It looks really good in the yellow and it will match the 86 because the, uh, the 86 headlights are also tinted yellow and I've always liked yellow headlights, just gives it a really nice look. Okay guys, so at the moment that as far as I can go without the mudguard being repaired and painted, which I will have to do soon. I can't get the forks on, which then means I can't get the handlebars on to fit all the brake cables. So that's as far as we can go at the moment. I'm waiting on parts to arrive so we can do the modifications to the engine. So whilst we're waiting for those, I think what I will do is take these plastics outside and give them a really good clean. So the wheels have returned from blasting and they have come out really well, really clean to be fair. So I've just got to decide what colour to paint them. But for now I'm going to just put them in some etch primer and tyres have arrived. So I went for the V rubber, they seem quite popular for these uh, scooters and I went for the 275s because I didn't want them to scrub as we are lowering the scooter. I'm just waiting on the inner tubes to arrive and I can have those fitted to those. So we've got a couple of little bits. Decided to go for an Iridium plug and mounted the grips. So I bought some brand new grips and these are really comfortable. So yeah, I've gone for like a uh, diamond design. But yeah, they should, they should look really good. So as you can see guys, the scooter is really starting to come together. And it looks brilliant. I've also had a delivery of parts. So let me show you what I've got. I managed to pick up a new old stock clutch cover gasket. Replacement bulbs. Finally managed to get some. Also, lucky enough to find this cheap. This is a genuine Honda. This is a front brake cable. Because the one that was, uh, the one that's on the bike, this rubber here has perished. And obviously, it's going to be, I assume, similar age to the bike. So I'll be replacing all the cables as and when they pop up. The inner tubes, which I mentioned. They've finally arrived, so I can now get the tyres mounted to the wheels. And this. A full gasket set. This is cheap enough to buy. I'm not sure if I'm going to need any of these, to be fair. Possibly the exhaust gasket. I assume this gasket for the head will come with the 70cc kit. But for the sake of literally about £10, well worth having. So that's also here. So I've done a bit more cleaning. Managed to uh, buff up the plastics and the lenses on the uh, front indicators. Cleaned up the wiring. So that is another part ready to go as and when we rebuild. Another little job that I want to do is fit two new connectors, which I have here. This is the wire which leads to the main coil for the spark plug. I had two random connectors. So yeah, I'm going to fit these new ones.
there you go nice and neat ready to go So this is me adding the base colour, which I've decided to go for, which is wheel silver. And then finished off with three coats of lacquer. Okay guys, so as you could just see, I'm now going to leave the um, clutch cover, the wheels and the front wheel hub to dry. Hopefully come out nice because it just uh, has to start to rain but so far they look good. Just a quick look at the uh, clutch cover. Looks a little bit greyer on camera for some reason but that has come out nice. You can see the shine in the lacquer and the same with the hub there. A little bit of this uh, white enamel. I've just touched up this indicator switch. They were white originally, but most of the paint had disappeared. So yeah, another nice little detail. I've also made a start on prepping the plastics. So spent a little bit of time just sanding these down. I will be doing a little bit of fiberglass on this just to fill that hole as I will be running just the one mirror. This panel had quite severe scuffs all down this one side. Managed to get them as smooth as possible and I'll just add a little bit of uh, filler but otherwise come out really nice. So I've been doing a bit of um, repair work to the front panel. I've already made a start on sanding down the filler. All that's left to do is this bit on the side here. And that's the filler all sanded. It's really smooth. It's filled in all these scuffs really nicely. So at some point I will get this in primer. And then once I've decided what final livery I'd like to go for, I can then paint it in its base colour. And uh, yeah, that should come out really nice. So I'm just down at the unit quickly to drop off some more parts which have arrived. One of which is this. So I managed to pick up this front mudguard for 20 quid. Off, uh, off eBay. So yes, all right, it has scuff on the front and it has a small crack on the side. But other than that, it is absolutely perfect. The original one. Now I will still repair this in my own time, but uh, yeah, it had holes on the side. It's got a crack at the top. There's a, a small crack at the bottom where it fixes as well. And the main issue was trying to reshape this at the front. So I thought for 20 quid, why not? I saw it, went for it, and it was delivered within a day, which was amazing. Also, this arrived today. So this is my Molossi 70cc cylinder head kit. So this is the start of many uh, engine modifications, which I've ordered. 
So it's nice that that's here. And in the next video, I will open this up, take a look, and I may even fit it. So once again, guys, I think I'll leave this video here for now. I'm still waiting on some more parts to arrive. The exciting parts. So, uh, yeah. Thank you so far for uh, joining me in this journey. I'm certainly enjoying it. I hope you are. And, uh, yeah, I really hope to catch you in the next one.